Hi, in this tutorial we're going to explore the photon tab settings. So let's get started. First we're gonna open curry options and go to photons tab. So the first settings we're gonna check is GI resolution. Now what is GI resolution? GI resolution is a setting that controls the quality or the resolution of your photon and final gathering map which means that the smaller the GI resolution, the more detailed the photon and final gathering map will be, and vice versa. If your GI resolution is high, then it means that your photon map and final gathering map will be less detailed. So the default setting is auto, but I usually turn off auto setting and adjust the GI resolution manually. And this is because when GI resolution is set to auto, it means that Curry will automatically adjust the size of the resolution based on the size of your scene. So for example if you have a large scene like a city the GI resolution will be will be bigger than in an example where you have an interior scene or even something smaller. But the problem with the auto is that sometimes you have a scene with a large plane and this may throw off the auto calculation of the GI resolution. So let's take a look at how changing GI resolution affects the quality of your photon map. First we're going to go to general tab and choose photon estimate. And from the photon estimate we're going to select pre-compute it. Let's render out. Now this is how our pre-computed map looks like. Important thing to notice is how big these cells are and how smooth your pre-computed map looks. So in these examples you can see the cells are quite big. What this means is your pre-computed map is not very detailed and we can check the number of cells in the render log. So you can see here You can see here now it says 2303 cells and this is really not enough for this kind of scene. Usually you would want to keep your number of cells between 30 and 50 thousand or something like that. So how do we do that? We do that by decreasing GI resolution. So let's try 0.3 meters and let's see how many cells we get now. Okay, now you see we're getting 19,000 cells. So we could go even a little bit lower than this. So I'm going to try 250 millimeters. Okay, so you can see now that we are getting 33, almost 34,000 cells and this is about enough, I think. Uh, so you can see that GI resolution directly affects the number of cells in the scene. GI resolution also affects the quality of the final gathering, uh, actually the density of the samples, but we will talk about this in the next tutorial. So for now we'll just focus on the photon map.